It turned out to be a beautiful day. I think I'm going to go swimming. I'll tell you what's not so beautiful. Girl, no, I look good in my swimsuit. No, not that. My application for mail and ballot got returned back to me today. Girl, no. Did you leave something off? No, when they asked for identification, I used my driver's license. Well, that's what you went wrong. Really? Well, the new ballots can be a bit tricky. When you ask for identification, it's best to give them two forms. For example, your driver's license number and a last of your social. I can do that. What else do we need to know about mail and ballots? You can visit the Texas Secretary of State website or your local election office. I need to write that down. Also, to be eligible for mail-in ballot, you must be out of the country on election day. Expect to give birth within three weeks before or after election day or be confined in prison. Also, if you're sick or disabled. Also, to be eligible for mail-in ballot, you've got to be 65 or older. Now, these are really qualified for that. I don't think so. Oh, please. Well, you know what they say. Black don't crack. <laughs> know that you can hand deliver your ballot application to the early voting office. I just hate going there. Or you can overnight it using UPS for a common courier. Oh, I can do that. Anything else we need to know about the mail and ballots? Yes, deadline for applications like October 28. Well, when do I need to turn it in for voting? Well, all ballots must be received by the county on election night by 7 p.m. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, it's time for me to download and fill out that form for mail-in ballot. Girl, no, it's time for me to go swimming. <laughs>